Good night, PNPs. Good night. Good night. Let me do a little house business. Our, our honorable MP here need to be elected, so we need your support at the tents. As a matter of fact, all PNPs, it's my message and my constituency that if we're going to get this party elected to begin to govern this country, we need to begin to give to our party. One dollar, two dollar, three dollar, all of them add up to a hundred dollars. You make your contributions by purchasing and donating. Tonight, my task is to introduce to you my good friend, Ms. Portia Stubbs-Smith. I bring this paper to talk a little bit about PNP, but these honorable candidates here, our MPs, come November 9th, talk about all of the issues already. The only issue I'm going to be dealing with is the person in Ms. Portia Smith. This is my friend. Yes, she beat me in the eye runoff. This is my friend. I am here tonight because I believe that she's going to be elected come November 9th and do great things in this community. This is a person that I spent time with talking when I was in college. We would always find some time to be online talking. And I know at that point in time that she had a passion for this country and a passion for this community. So I can say to you tonight that you who are going to come to the poll, if you get in the poll and you're confused, only one way to go, like Mr. Carlos said, just look for this. Look for this. Don't let them confuse you. We get some folks going around with the slave master's message that if you are able to open a little business and make a few dollars, you're corrupt. You should always work for somebody or ask somebody for something. This PNP, we don't do that kind of stuff. We inspire, we motivate, we make sure our people are prepared so that they can care for themselves. I am not going to spend all night here. This is not about me. This is all about my good friend, Portia. What I want to say to you, like I said already, this is a lady who has passion for her country. There's no doubt in my mind. Like I said, I spend nights and nights talking with her online while we're in college together, talking about Turks and Caicos, talking about this country, about this constituency, talking about this community and the things that need to be done here. And I am happy to introduce her tonight is the next MP for this district, Miss Portia Smith. Stop Smith. <laughs> in the hat. Good night, PNP. Oh. Good night, PNP. This the surprise in the hat tonight. Can you look at this surprise for you tonight? Lick the music. You know this one. Thank you. 
Don't talk about me, yeah. Can you tell me like you? This is what you have to say. They are two leaders of the day. They are sweet, sweet P&P. Sweet, sweet P&P. Sweet, sweet P&P. The leaders of the day. Good night, P&P. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know that was a surprise. <laughs> I want you to also know that even though I'm the eldest grandchild in the family, I'm like the youngest grandchild in the family. You know, they all take care of me. All of them. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. PMPs! Welcome, because I am I am excited. I'm represented for all of you, but like our deputy leader says, come November 9th. You don't have to worry about how many names I have. You don't have to worry about that. Just look for the shell. Look for the shell. You gonna have two ballots. Just look for the shell. And you mark your X to the shell. It is my pleasure to stand before you this evening as the candidate for the bike constituency for the Progressive National Party. Let me first say thanks to God, who is the author of my life and the architect of my destiny. And you hear um, George talk about our college life. Let me say that um, I enjoyed those years. As a mature student going back to school, some people question, why go then? I said, why not then? Because 